Hello everyone, I'm João Marcos from That's Brilliant. In this video, we're going to see how you can communicate Arduino and processing using serial communication. If you don't know processing, processing is a programming language, a, vis a visual programming language. So you can manipulate videos, pictures, images, colors, shapes. It's a visual programming language. Something, in my opinion, very cool to know. And we can communicate processing and Arduino using serial communication. And this is that we're going to see in this video. In this video, we're going to dedicate to understand the basic commands, the basic things we have to know to pass an information from Arduino to processing. In the next video, uh, whose link I'm going to put in the description below, we are going to use this, put this to work. So we are going to uh, manipulate the color of a window using a potentiometer, we're going to move a, a shape using a potentiometer. So let's see in this video how the commands and the coding of everything work. So, we're going to upload a sketch to the Arduino board and run a processing sketch in the computer. The Arduino is going to pass an information through serial communication to processing. So, let's see the Arduino part, how it's working. Well, you can see in void setup, we have serial.begin and we have this number here. If you have already used the serial monitor, you have already used this command. This command is just specifying the baud ratio of the serial communication. It's basically the speed of the communication. So you have to use this. And the, the common one is using 9600. So it's just this that this command do, specifies the baud ratio. You have to have this in the setup. Then the void loop to pass information you have to use a serial dot write, this function right here. So, uh, you can have more command lines in a loop, you can have more commands line in setup, but you have to have this serial dot begin about ratio, and for passing information, we have to use this serial dot write. So, if you pass uh, dot write and in parentheses two, and you, for example, print the value here, in the processing, it's going to print two. But for example, if you uh, write put here zero dot write and a between uh, brackets, commas. Sorry, uh, for example, this here. If you pass something like this, lowercase. If you pass uh, lowercase a and print here in the processing, it's going to print not a but ninety seven. So, it's a decimal value for A. So, pay attention to the type of information you are passing. Uh, make a search about uh, the ASCII table and the type of information that the serial communication passes. But uh, for numbers, it works very simply. So, if you write 5, here it prints 5. So, this is just this. They're doing. We have to initialize about ratio and uses and use serial dot write and there you pass in your information. If you want to pass an A, for example, we have to know in the processing part how to make the 97 become an A. So this is basically this. This is the Arduino part. Now let's take a look at the processing part. And I'm going to open here. Go to File Examples. And here go to and here you have go to serial serial open it and then go double click on simple read it's going to open this sketch here and it's very similar to this one I advise you to read this example the other examples of serial communication to understand better so here it's a, it's a sketch using serial communication, very similar to this that I'm going to explain. And here it already has a ready sketch for Arduino. So if you want to read this, it's going to be, be very uh, teaching for you. S but I'm going to teach the comments, the basic comments here to you now. I'm going to talk about them. So, let's see the first comment that you have it here too, okay? You can see that we have here import 
processing.serial.star in semicolon. This command is just importing the serial communication library. In Arduino, we didn't have to put, for example, include and serial dot h, for example, because the serial library is already there in the Arduino. In the processing, no, you have to import. And here, this import is very similar to the include in the Arduino. So this command is just importing the serial library. Next line, you can see here serial port and then int data. The, the serial port, you're just specifying a name of an object of the class serial. Here, this int data, this data is going, this variable here is where we are going to store the data that we, that we are going to receive from Arduino. We are storing it as an int integer because, uh, as I said, if you pass a number, it's going to be a number. If you pass a letter, it's going to be a number to a decimal uh, value of that letter. So, for our, purpose, for our purposes here, an int is very uh, okay, this type of variable using an integer is very good. And the serial port is we are just initializing it, but here is where we are really uh, using instantiation and initializing the object of the class serial. So this port is going to be an object of the class serial. To initialize it, we have to basically pass three informations. So we have to pass this. This uh, keyword here is just passing to the library the current object. So this keyword just says to the library uh, that it's going to be this current object, the port object. Okay. Serial.list, we're going to talk about it in a few moments. And here you can see the baud ratio, again, 9600. And I skipped this line, but it's very simple. It's just a command you have to have in processing that's going to initialize the window that's going to be opened. When you run the code, it's going to open in a window. And in that window, you, you just here, you are specifying the size of that window in pixels. So it's going to be 500 pixels of width and 500 pixels of height. So here you're just initializing the window. Now, let's talk about this serial list here. That's something very, very important. You can see here, in the example we opened, he creates a string, port name, and puts serial.list, and between here, he puts zero. And then when he initializes the object, he puts this port name and 9600. It's the same thing. I, I'm, I just didn't create the string. I just passed the serial list uh, directly to the creation of the object. But you have to pay attention to this because to communicate Arduino and uh, processing successfully, you have to use the same port in Arduino and processing for them to communicate correctly. So you can see here, I'm going to plug my Arduino into the computer. And you can see here, if you go to the Arduino key, the, the, the Arduino window, tools, serial port. You can see here, it's slash dev slash TTY ACM, and I think it's a zero here. This is the serial port the Arduino is connected to. We have to say to the processing to use the same port. Now, how do you do this? Well, there isn't only one port. If you type the command print line and you put serial dot list, it's going to print to you the serial ports you have. So, as I said, it's going to open a window when you run the processing. And for example, this window here. And we can stop it. What interests for us is the serial ports. You can see here th the serial ports I have. But the important one is this one here. It's the same we saw in the Arduino part. I have to say to processing, use this serial port. So this number here is just saying is the zero in the list. Because as you can see, there are a lot of ports, but I want the first one. I am I put zero because um, for example, in a race, the counting starts at zero. 
at a string index, it's also started with zero. So the counting isn't one, two, three. It starts at zero. So it's zero, one, two, three. So for me, the part I want to use is the zero one. Because this part is the one, this is the two, this is the uh, this is the zero, this is the one, this is the two, and so on. I want this part here. Starting the counting at zero is the zero port. And you have to know what port you use. If you are running Windows, and maybe probably your part is going to be COM1, COM2, COM3. If you're using Linux as I am, you're going to see something like slash dev and something. And I, I think that using Mac it's the same slash dev and something. So you can see as I did in the Arduino what port you are using. See in the list what's the number and remember that the counting starts at zero and then in here you put the number. If that doesn't work, uh, you can, a way of discovering the port, you can go one by one, zero, you start at zero and go one by one. If the port is in incorrect, it's going to be an error. So you're going to port by port, one by one, until you reach the correct port. So this command is just to print the, the ports, the serial ports you have. And now you go to void draw. I, this void setup here is a block very similar to the Arduino one. You can see we have void setup and void loop. In processing you have void setup and void draw. The void draw, if you don't make something with this block, you just put right there is, it's going to uh, repeat over and over like the void loop. It's something that is going to be repeated, for, repeated forever. There is a way of stopping it from repeating, but if you don't do anything to it, it's going to repeat forever. So what's going on here? You're saying if port, it's the object of the class serial we are using, it's our port, if port dot available is greater than zero, you do this here. Well, let's see this if statement here. This port dot available is going to see what is in the port. It's got what's being passed by the serial communication. And uh, notice that it isn't the, is this function available is not looking to the variable, the value of what's in the part, the port. It's only looking if 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 there is something in the port. So this available is going to see the bytes of the port. So if the number of the bytes in the port is greater than zero. This means that there is something in the port. So there is something to be read. If this isn't greater than zero, there is nothing to be read. So you can't read anything. So if port not available is greater than zero, this means there is something in the port to be read. So what do you do? You pick the data variable, we initialize it here as an integer, and you says data is equal to port dot read. This function read is exactly is exactly what it seems to be. This is going to read the serial value that is in the port. So it's going to read the serial information Arduino is passing. So our variable data is going to be equal to what the Arduino is passing through serial communication. And here you can do something with that uh, data received. You can do something, for example, something very simple. Background and you can see it's equals to data. So uh, you you are going to say that the number you receive is going to be set as the as a way of saying the color of the background. We are not going to run it just to give an example because we are going to see we have to treat this value this value because it can pass as a variable that is bigger than what it has to be of the background. So basically, what's happening here? Let's go back. To the beginning, you have void setup. You have to say the baud ratio to Arduino. In the void loop, to pass the information, use zero dot write. In the processing, you have to import the library. You have to initialize the object of the serial class. You have to use a variable to store the value you receive in serial communication. In void setup, you have to uh, say the width and height of the window. And with this command, you uh, initializes in instantiates the object of the serial class. You say this to specify that is this object here. Serial.list and here you put the number 
which is referred to the port you are using, you have to put the same port that you are using with Arduino, remember that count starts at zero, and here the baud ratio. If I draw, you use this if statement to see if there is something. If port dot available is greater than zero, there is something to be read, so you use port dot read to read the information. And here you can do whatever you want with the information you got from Arduino. So as I said, this is the basic comments you have to use, this is basically how we program the serial communication uh, between Arduino and processing. The next video, as I said, I'm going to put the link in the, link in the description below, you're going to see everything working, we're going to really see the Arduino communication with processing. Please, if you have any questions, please write in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.